Good afternoon, good morning, good day, happy summer, happy spring, happy, well, let's just say summer. I'm sure it's going to be a summer day when you see this. It is another edition of Today's Talk, and I am Marty T. Welcome back to another edition. It's been a bit, but I've got a new friend with me. His name is Daniel C. Miller. Hey, Daniel, how are you today? Great, great. How are you, Marty? Fantastic. Thanks for being on. It's been a while since I've done a show, so I'm glad to have a new friend with a hot new product. So this is a good one for me. I like doing new stuff. You know, this is always kind of cool for me. Yep. So I, let me tell you, I know we, we've been friends for, I guess, uh, what, eight weeks now? Is that the accelerator yes. time? Is we're yeah, going yeah. ninth week? Mm-hmm. I met Daniel in a business business accelerator. We're both in the rainmaker class, so hopefully we've learned enough to make our businesses rain money. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> uh, maybe you're raining. I'm uh, just starting to drizzle. So uh... <laughs> <laughs> my brain is like so blown. Right, so this is like my second one. Things are sticking now. So I'm yeah. finally figuring some things out. So this is fantastic, but. I want to talk more about your business. You've got this really super cool technology, and I just want to know a little bit more about it. Tell me about Tone Tip. Let's talk about Tone Tip. What is what is it? Okay, well, to me, what is Tone Tip? Well, it's um, Tone Tip is a smartphone app that decodes audio hyperlinks. Um, now, before we get into that, if you think about uh, hyperlinks like uh, web pages have hyperlinks. You click on it and you get more information. The information that you get is whatever the producer of that web page decided. When you click on that, you go to the information determined by the producer. If you have something like a QR code or a barcode, right. my friend uh, Kenny Anderson uh, created this book and he decides as the producer, he decides when you scan that and you click on it, you go to the information that the producer wants you to go to. Um, but then when you have uh, audio and video uh, or radio or TV or a stadium or think about any audio environment, um, there is nothing to click on. There's no interaction. You have to, you kind of have to write things down. Or if you're on YouTube, you have to scroll down uh, and find the producer notes or a, a podcast. You have to go back. So there's no link. So, um, a few years ago, I heard something uh, on the radio at the name of a book, <clears throat> and I thought, well, I can't write it down because I'm in busy New Jersey traffic. Um, <laughs> and then I heard a dial tone, and I can't, thought, you know, I'm not going to type it in my phone. I'll crash. Right. And, uh, and I didn't have a pen. And then I heard a dial tone, and I thought, well, that, that's really easy. I'm a system engineer, so I take lots of pieces, and I put them together. I said, well, why not just have an audio code, an audio tone? Uh, and then link that to whatever information the producer wants. So uh, I took that idea and I created an application and I've got two patents on this now. <clears throat> and now it allows a, a media producer to go into our website that Marty is showing here. And then the uh, producer decides uh, what they want for the content for a headline image and links like you see on the on the front, you see uh, the uh, dad's uh, wood glue, which is a podcast. And then there's a couple links uh, there. So the producer decides what they want in that. And then they get an audio code back. And then they mix that in with their audio or video. And then their audience, when they're out listening, uh, then the information that they want to see or the information that they want to display to the uh, audience uh, just pops up on the screen. And if they can't get to it right away, like if they're driving down the road or cooking in the kitchen watching TV, then the information just shows up on their uh, what's called a history list. And this is, I don't know if you see on the on the web on the screen here, this oh, is yeah, a yeah. yeah the history list that shows up. So that means you can scroll down memory lane and get to the information you want when you want it. Well, as far as and that to me is probably the best part for me because I think about this all the time. Um, and yeah. we talked about this when you first brought it to me. I mean, I'm ADD. And I constantly am doing 50 million things at once and I'll remember something and I want to like bookmark it or remember how to get back to it. And I can never remember. And that's why I usually have like 50 million tabs yeah. open on my computer. And I only know that it's too many when my computer stops working. <laughs> like, oh, I've got too many tabs open. I better close a few down. And 
I, I think about this from all the implications when it comes to like marketing, people trying to do branding, trying to send a branded message, trying mm-hmm. to do anything with uh, anything that has to do with sending people a message. It's like, this is outstanding. This is an amazing idea because literally our attention span is split. That seven second attention span that we have, people are trying to put like so many messages within that seven seconds. Now yeah. it's, it's, it's crazy. So now there's a way to actually, with what your technology is, to actually like date and timestamp it and actually file it right there on my phone where I can go back and get it. With this yeah. Tip, right? That's exactly. Yeah. It'll just show up uh, on your history list. And if you saw something a half an hour ago, you can look at the date and time and you'll see, okay, hey, there's that information that I wanted. So you don't have to write it down or, um, or type it into your phone. It's just automatically there. So now this isn't phone like technology specific. So it works on iPhones, uh, 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 Androids. It works on everything, right? There's not any kind of phone that it's, it doesn't work on. Uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, Android and uh, iPhone are the primary ones. I think there, if there may be a few Microsoft phones or some other really odd phones that are out there okay. with something other than that, and we haven't developed an app for those. We're also developing a uh, we. We're testing a, a desktop app and we have the decoding working. So in the future, in the next couple of months, there'll also be a desktop app. So if you're watching something on your desktop um, and you've got a, you can have a tab open and it will uh, decode the uh, hyperlinks and display the same information that shows up in your phone will end up showing up in your desktop. That'll be phenomenal. Yeah. So it's really going to be the process of just rethinking Um, how marketing is done. This is like another place for marketers to place their information, right? It's kind of like another place to put a billboard, right? Instead of like a visual, this is now a digital or an audio billboard, right? Is that kind of the way to look at it? That's kind of the way to look at it from a, uh, from a producer or a marketeer perspective is uh, yeah, it's another place to put a billboard. Now you, you really can't advertise that on the on the audience side, because the last thing somebody wants is another ad right. or an ad serving platform. Uh, so it's really, if you think about something like you're watching the news, uh, news stories could pop up with additional information, like where's this country you've heard of before, but you're not quite sure of where it is, or where's this city within the country, or you know what's the, what's the, it, it allows the producers to more deeply engage their audience. Okay. So literally you were just kind of just driving around and you just thought of this. I mean, th- this is all that drives me crazy about engineers is like the things that hit you guys' brain. You're like, oh, I think I'm going to invent something that fixes the world. Okay. Here's how we're going to do it. So <laughs> how, how did you, I mean, literally you just thought about this and it just kind of just came to this. I mean, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I, I just thought of it and I thought, well, there's, there's really three pieces to it. One is the, uh, the producer creating something. Um, the second thing is it being delivered on some platform, whether it's radio, TV, uh, you can see the, the color bands up there that says all hyperlinks for all media platforms. So it covers, uh, yeah, the broadcast. Oop, oh, well, just the, the opening. Yeah. The opening screen, the, the blue is broadcast streaming live a- anyway, wherever there's audio or video, this can be used. Um, and then the, the third part of that is, you know, a smartphone app that can uh, receive that code and display it. So I thought, okay, there, there's these, these three different parts. And I thought, well, surely this must exist because it's so simple. It is really simple. You go in, you create a, a headline image links, you get an audio tone. You mix right. that audio tone with your audio or video and the smartphone picks it up and displays the information. That's really it. And so it it's, uh, brings the, the power to the producer it really helps them uh, accelerate audience engagement, audience engagement, and on the marketing side, of course, it'll help grow revenue because um, your audience can be so much more connected. You know, so, how how would somebody do, so thinking about how something like this is done? Because I always think about ease and difficulty and confusion because yeah i'm kind of a tech nerd i tell people i'm a a tech nerd whisperer but i also tend to get myself in the weeds sometimes because you know i know a little too much sometimes but not Mm -hmm. enough (laughs) myself totally so let's say i know just enough to be able to edit and put together video like i do my all my own shows i put all the stuff together 
how how hard is it for me to put one of these like tone tips like on my video? Is it like really difficult? No, it's so easy. I even have a uh, a video a tutorial a video. You mix the uh, it's a 19 kilohertz tone, um, so it's just it's just as easy as mixing in any other uh, music or any other audio that you would. So um, yeah, it's so simple. You create that audio. You go into our screen. Select the headline image and links, and you get a three second uh, 19 kilohertz uh, audio tone. And then you mix that in with your uh, audio stream. So, whether you have a podcast or a YouTube video or a Vimeo video, or I've tried it on all kinds of like LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter and anywhere that there's a video platform, uh, the audio hyperlinks can be used. Um, and then, well, you, yeah, like I, I say, you just. Maybe. We've talked about it. I think, you know, and folks, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to, I, I really want to try this out. So I'm going to try to remix my videos with the tone tip and see if I can <laughs> add this audio link and see, see what happens. I'm going to encourage you guys to download it and see what happens. See if we can uh, make this, make this thing uh, fly. I, I think it sounds pretty cool. Let's see what happens with it. Okay. That'd be great. How about if you put one into this video here? Well, what a great idea. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> Let's give that a try. Let's do Let's, let's do that. Let's just make one go in this video. I'll do that one. That makes total sense to me. That's probably the easiest one to do since this is tone tip. Yeah. Done. So all right, now, are you from Oregon originally? Where are you from originally? Uh, originally, I, I've moved around a lot. I was born in Pennsylvania okay. when, I, when I was a year and a half, moved to New York, then moved to Omaha, Nebraska, <laughs> then uh, wow. in Illinois. Went to for a high school and then college in Wisconsin, and I was tired of the Midwest, so then I came out to. Uh, I got this job offer for the Navy as a systems engineer, okay. And uh, then went to work in uh, California, and with the Navy, I went all around uh, working on uh, designing, developing, installing, and testing advanced weapon systems uh, for the Navy. So we went, yeah, we went all around the world doing different tests and then worked in different countries, uh, integrating these uh, advanced systems uh, throughout the uh, ship and shore platforms. So it was really exciting, really a fun career. Mm -hmm. And then I retired from that a couple of years ago so I can work full time on this. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad you've picked your time here to retire and bring this really super cool technology. You got family as well? Yes, yes. I have a couple of kids. Uh, one is in uh, San Diego. Okay. Loves it. Can't get him out. <laughs> he comes out to visit and he goes back home. And the, other, the other one is a uh, firefighter in uh, Northern California, uh, works as a uh, hot, hot shot uh, crew. Oh, so okay. uh, most people run away from fires. He runs uh, too. <laughs> yep. Yep. And, Thank God for him. Well, God bless him. I mean, that's, uh, that's a lot of scary work. I bet he's been busy the last few years, right? How long has he been a firefighter? Um. Uh, like uh, two and a half years. Okay, so he's missed yeah. some of the big ones. Yeah. Goodness. <laughs> well, hopefully yeah. we keep him safe. Well, um, well I'm sure we're going to be talking a lot more. I, I really want to focus more on this. I mean, is there anything you want to share more about Tone Tip before we wrap up? Uh, the only thing I would really want to share is that we're producing, uh, this is early on in the process, and we're producing a lot of uh, training tutorials. So we'll have more and more coming out. And I would say, uh, uh, please go in, watch the tutorials, look at YouTube and subscribe um, or whatever platform you're on. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and that way you'll be on the list. So when we do have more information coming out, uh, you'll see more information on the different uh, products and services that we're offering. And it also gives you a, a place to ask questions or if you really want us to uh, focus on certain type of a training, then we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, I definitely want to thank you for being a part of me and my, uh, I guess, I don't want to say inaugural today's talk. because I've been on for a while. It's just I've been off for a while, too. Yeah. But I, I do have to tell you, I have to warn you, because I didn't let you know about this, but this is also something I spring on my guest. It's the part of the show where I hit you with some very scientific things that I've done for you. It's called Let's Get Real. So let's get real is where I go through my book of 3,000 questions. <laughs> and I've actually selected some for you. 
I've been been very scientific, random. I've picked three questions for you out of my book of 3,000. So here we go. Out of my book of 3,000 questions, here's question number one. What's the funniest movie you have ever seen? Hmm. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. There's, there's some, I, I guess uh, Spaceballs is one of them. Spaceballs is an excellent movie. Yes. Mel Brooks, classic. Love that. Mel Brooks, Rick Moranis. If you folks have not seen it, you need to get it. It's Watch a classic. It, stream it. It's a classic. All right. Question number two. Who can you impersonate really well? <laughs> um, myself. Uh, no, I'm I'm terrible with impersonations. <laughs> okay, I pulled that one out on purpose. I'm like, hmm, can an engineer do an impression? All right, here we go. If you started training for the Olympics today, what events? What event would you have a realistic chance at? Let's see. Is the senior running Olympics? <laughs> senior running Olympics. Okay, so if how? I'll, I'll create a new run? category just so I have a chance of winning. <laughs> how far would that run be? Like for me, it'd be like five steps. I know. Yeah, I'm I'm a marathon runner. So oh, are uh, you okay? Yeah, yeah. Could what's, be a what's, marathon. How many marathons have you run? Quite a few. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably twenty or so. Far out. I did yeah. not know about you. See that little yeah. that little three thousand question book just told me you're a marathoner. That's yeah, cool. most fun was the the Boston Marathon. Yeah, lots of people cheering you on. Wow. One day maybe I think after I lose about half of me, I'll do that. I'm a little <laughs> too big for a marathon, but one day. Well, I will tell you what. But thank you very much. Um, I want to thank you for being my guest, and uh, you know, I want you to have a great day. And uh, folks. If you want any more information about Tone Tip, definitely drop me a line. How would you like people to get a hold of you if they want to find out before they get a hold of me? What's the best way to get a hold of you for Tone Tip? Uh, my uh, email address, uh, dan at tonetip.com. Okay. Or if they want to, uh, you could look at uh, YouTube or LinkedIn and just look for Tone Tip okay. and uh, connect that way. From a business perspective, it's probably best to look at uh, YouTube, I mean, uh, LinkedIn and then uh, connect in through LinkedIn. Great. Folks, I don't have all that information in the notes of this video, so take a look at that. If you want to be a guest in today's talk, also please check that information out. I'll have that contact information in the notes as well. So again, thank you, Dan, for coming by. And have a great day. Thank you, Marty. You too. Thanks. Take care. No blowing with the left hand, gripping with the right hand. Overshare to the airport, I'm going to hit you back with my flight, man. I'm in the mood for a switch I hit the function, hit the road right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up.